Let's first understand what machine learning is. It's a subfield of artificial intelligence that has empowered various smart applications. It deals with the construction and study of systems that can learn from data. For instance, consider the photo album feature of Facebook. This feature has the capability to learn from the data and hence recognize the faces that can be tagged in a picture. Similarly, the Siri application of Apple also has the capability to learn from the data and hence analyze the human voice, meaning to perform the desired action or provide the desired answers. LinkedIn and Google driverless car also work on the same concept. Therefore, the objective of machine learning is to let a computer predict something. An obvious scenario is to predict an event of the future. Apart from this, it also covers to predict unknown things or events. This means that something that has not been programmed or inputted in it. In other words, computers act without being explicitly programmed. It can be seen as building blocks to make computers behave more intelligently. In the words of Arthur Samuel in 1959, machine learning is a field of study that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Later in 1997, Tom Mitchell gave another definition that proved more useful for engineering purposes. A computer program is said to learn from experience E with respect to some task T and some performance measure P. If its performance on T as measured by P improves with experience E. Sometimes machine learning is related with data mining. However, it is more focused towards exploratory data analysis. In addition, pattern recognition and machine learning are also related and can be seen as two facets of the same area. A few examples of the machine learning applications are listed on the screen. The Scalable Machine Learning Library of Spark is ML Library. It contains general learning utilities and algorithms, which include regression, collaborative filtering, classification, clustering, dimensionality reduction, and underlying optimization primitives. There are two types of API available. The primary API is original Spark.ml library API, and a higher level API to construct machine learning workflows is pipelines Spark.ml. Let's first talk about data frames. Machine learning is applicable to various data types, which include text, images, structured data, and vectors. To support these data types under a unified data set concept, SparkML includes the Spark SQL data frame. These data frames provide support to various basic types, structured types, and ML vector types. You can create a data frame from a regular RDD, either implicitly or explicitly. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.